You like Marvel movies? Were you a fan of the Hulk? Are you upset at what they did to the Hulk's character? Have you lost faith in the Hulk's character in these Marvel films? I think this video might actually give you some hope. Let's get into it. <laughs> What's going on everybody? It's your boy Ooch, of course, back again. Once again with another banger. And uh, like I said in the previous video, uh, yeah, Marvel stuff, Marvel content, MCU related updates. They are coming back to this channel. Oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a passion of mine. I really enjoy talking about Marvel-related things. As you, some of you guys may already know, if you guys check out my live stream on twitch.tv slash Ushi Games, you will definitely come to find that no matter what I'm playing, you guys can talk to me about just about anything. And a lot of those conversations end up being Marvel-related, specifically tied to the MCU batch of things. So this article comes from inverse.com in relation to this whole topic of the Hulk that I'm bringing you guys today. And it is something that I definitely want to get into and give you guys my thoughts on. So I'm gonna read basically the majority of this article to you and then we will talk about it. Puny God. It's becoming increasingly clear that Marvel Studios has big plans for the Hulk. Bruce Banner, Mark Ruffalo, is set to play a major role in the upcoming Disney Plus series, She-Hulk, which will introduce the character's similarly superpowered cousin, Jennifer Walters, played by Tatiana Maslany. On its own, the mere existence of She-Hulk indicates that Marvel is planning on expanding its Hulk storylines. But She-Hulk isn't the only Hulk-centric project that Marvel Studios is said to be developing right now. Their mysterious World War Hulk project has been rumored to be in the works for months now and is said to be a film adaptation of the World War Hulk comic book story. While Marvel has yet to confirm the project, the rumors have nonetheless captured the attention of comic book readers. Now this next big batch of, you know, material that we're gonna be talking about, uh, please take with a humongous pinch of salt and they actually say uh, they use the, the, the phrase take with a mine of salt like a salt mine that's it's kind of funny. Yeah, let's uh, get back into it. So in a recent 4chan post, an anonymous user posted a number of alleged details about Marvel's still unconfirmed World War Hulk adaptation. According to the user, the project will split the World War Hulk story into two movies, with the first following Ruffalo's Bruce Banner as he journeys into space to find his son Scar. The adaptation's second half will allegedly feature appearances from multiple MCU heroes who come together to decide whether they should kill an out of control banner before he causes too much destruction. The second film's MCU heroes will apparently include She-Hulk, Captain Marvel, Anthony Mackie's Captain America, Doctor Strange, Hawkeye, War Machine, Yelena Belova, Cersei, Black Knight, and several others. Additionally, the 4chan user claims that some of the film's heroes will die fighting banner. Like I already had mentioned, they go on to say that obviously take this with an entire salt mine. Little is known about Marvel's World War Hulk adaptation, including if it's even happening, that it's hard to believe this many plot details and cameos have already been figured out, which actually is very true. I personally can't really see something like that being revealed or leaked so soon but i mean hey I, i'd be down for it if it does if it does happen it, it sounds really good it's one of those situations where it's like too good to be true but there's a little bit more and then we'll give you guys my thoughts so for those that are not super into the comic books and as far as into them i mean like you just don't read them like i do there's a lot of there's just a lot of comics out there to intake so world war hulk uh, admittedly is definitely not one of the series that i've read per se so this next batch inverse does a good job in explaining exactly what the world war hulk event actually is in the comics world war hulk takes place after the events of planet hulk which sees the illuminati funny enough we actually got a tease of the illuminati in the latest a multiverse of madness trailer forcibly send bruce banner into the far reaches of outer space after arriving on sakar and becoming the planet's ruler hulk's life is thrown into turmoil when the ship the illuminati sent him away with explodes and kills his pregnant wife enraged World War Hulk follows Banner as he leads a team of his devoted Sakaar followers back to Earth 
to get revenge against the heroes that banished him. The rest of the story revolves around Hulk fighting some of Earth's mightiest heroes including Iron Man, Doctor Strange, Ghost Rider, and the Fantastic Four. He manages to defeat all of them and turns Madison Square Garden into a gladiatorial arena where he forces those who betrayed him to fight each other to the death. In typical comic book fashion, things don't go quite as bad as they could and the Hulk's quest to destroy New York City never comes to fruition. However, the story does end with the introduction of his son Scar. Obviously, there's a lot in the World War Hulk story that hasn't been set up in the MCU yet. None of the Earth's heroes, for instance, have any reason to want to banish Bruce Banner into space, and Bruce has no reason to lose control and set out on a quest for vengeance. However, with She-Hulk debuting this year, there's certainly the chance that the Disney Plus series could help set up a story that's at least somewhat similar to World War Hulk. And there's certainly enough that happens in World War Hulk to justify an adaptation being split into two parts, although whether Marvel actually plans on doing that is unclear. So with all that being said, obviously just by getting the gist of what happens in the comic book event, I'll definitely tell you right now, I 100% would love to go actually read this and give you guys my thoughts on what actually goes down within that. I'm not really much of a reviewer as far as like comics. I have done Power Ranger comic reviews in the past, but I mean, hey, if that's something that you guys want to at least hear my thoughts on, definitely let me know and I'll consider doing that. But other than that, just re realizing what exactly happens, I can already tell that there's some things that wouldn't necessarily be able to happen with the obvious one being Iron Man's inclusion in all of this, unless they do at that point in time have some sort of variant involved that takes on the mantle of Iron Man, or if for some, for whatever reason, they decide to surprise us and actually bring back everyone's favorite Robert Downey Jr. I mean, I'd be all down for that as well. However, I just don't see that happening right now but i could be wrong and honestly i would love to be wrong because who doesn't love robert Downey jr as, as iron man and naturally i always like to say this when it comes down to taking or adapting certain elements from the comics into this mcu everyone has to treat the mcu as its own thing and obviously it is taking elements from what's already been written and out there in the comic book universe but that's what makes this so much more exciting is that we are getting versions of what has already happened. These are things to reference, to look forward to, to seeing certain things happen over here in the MCU realm of things. But when those things happen, usually they never fail to meet any kind of you know expectation in my opinion at least i can tell you this i already know that civil war was completely different just to give you guys an example from what originally happens in the comic books but to say the least considering that they they decided to take the title of civil war and essentially make that captain america 3 that was almost like a mini avengers film just taking into consideration what happened in that film. But overall, I really do think that seeing a World War Hulk movie, especially if it's two parts, actually take place would be fantastic. It'd be amazing, superb, marvelous. It'd be all of those things and more. And I know that I'm not just speaking for myself, but I'm speaking for a lot of Hulk diehard fans that have been very upset with how they have treated Bruce Banner in this MCU. And I think that giving him some sort of a setup tie-in movie along the line for phase four of you know all these MCU projects would definitely remedy the, the growing pains that have been shared across the board with a lot of other Marvel uh, fans, especially for the Hulk fans. Because I will say as much as I've been loving just about everything that they've been putting out there, I will admit that Hulk definitely got shit on and he needs to get way more respect on his name so that's enough out of me let me know what you guys thought about these potential rumors again please take them with a huge pinch of salt or like inverse said <laughs> a salt mine if you will because none of this could be happening but i definitely think the conversation is necessary to have would you like to see some sort of hulk revival or would you like to see what's currently going on with all this multiverse of madness maybe they bring in the other hulk variants that we've seen in the previous hulk films which technically as i've also said in other marvel related videos that it is the one hulk film that wasn't mark ruffalo's hulk 
that actually starts the entirety of the MCU. It's the after credit scene in that film that really gets us going. Just food for thought. Shout out to inverse.com. Of course, I will leave a link in the description for you guys to reference for yourself if you want to check out all the details. They have a pl a plenty of other articles, which I'm sure I'll probably pull from to get more discussion videos out there for you guys so we can keep talking about all this MCU greatness. Take care of yourselves. May the power protect you. Keep it locked loaded right here on the channel. Stay safe, stay clean, stay inside. I'll see you guys next time.